Oh my gosh, if you don't know the deal on these, so your girl is actually $5 richer. I hate doing this. I hate doing this so much. <laughs> Why did you look like you were trying to fight the water? What was that? Ooh, that video. I'm, I kind of don't even want to say it because it will trigger you. The thing triggered me so bad. what's up OCC gang what's up y'all so I'm in this store y'all know we did 90% off clearance already but apparently some people maybe they don't want the 90% off clearance because this store has a lot of stuff left anyway I'm not here for more 90% off clearance I oh wow 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 I think these were waiting here for me oh my gosh are you serious are you serious all of these this is not the deal that I came in here to do, but if a deal presents itself, OCC gang, you know we have to do this. Oh my goodness. I just came to see if there was any good 90% off stuff left over here on my way to do the deal that I wanted to tell you about, this little moneymaker deal. But this right here, okay, this, yes, these. I'm thinking I might grab all of these pop sockets. I don't even use pop sockets like that, but these are definitely going in stocking stuffers. What? Oh my gosh, if you don't know the deal on these, hold on, I didn't even tell y'all the deal on these. Let me go and show y'all the deal first, and then, and then we will discuss why I'm grabbing all of these. Oh my gosh, this is crazy. Let's go ahead and scan these. I might scan like one of each one, starting with this one, because we have a couple of them. So let's just go ahead and scan these, and I will show you why I'm so excited. Look, boom. Just like that, only 99 cents. I don't think people know these are on sale because I keep seeing them hanging up and I'm trying to resist the urge to get them. But now that I'm thinking I might put them in stockings for stocking stuffers, I'm probably gonna get more. So that's that galaxy looking one. And then now I'm gonna scan the black. If your store scanner is broken, I'm doing the work for you right here, 99 cents also included. So yeah, this one is also included and I have one more color, this one right here. This tie dye cute one, let's scan this too. This one, let's go ahead and scan. Also included. So yeah, all of those are included. That's why I was so excited when I saw them. I keep walking past these, but like no one is getting them. I keep seeing them in store after store. That is crazy. Okay, now let me like, I need a cart y'all. Let me get a cart and put these up and then I'll show you the deal that I actually came up in here to do. I need a cart and some lotion, oh my gosh. So the deal I actually came in here to do is a little money maker on like Nivea. Here it is right over here. So you want to look for like the trial section at your store or a little Nivea section like they have this section over here It's got like little skincare items just little stuff and this deal right now They have a deal in CVS that when you buy two participating Nivea products you get five dollars back Well, you can buy two participating products and get five dollars back But I was so happy to see that these are included as participating products These tins are only 149 y'all they're only $149 and the deal is buy two participating products and get $5 back. Well, if you buy two of these little cream tins, which are pretty awesome, you can put them in your purse. I need lotion right now, so this is going to be perfect for me. If you buy two of these, that comes out to $2.98, right? So you pay $2.98, but you get $5 back. That is a good money maker. So I'm just going to grab two of these and head to the register and just show you how easy it is to do. You don't need any coupons, but if you have some, Go ahead and use them if you have any points or rewards but really it's just that easy just buy two of these pay $2.98 and get five dollars back so that deal actually worked out perfectly you can see right here i bought both of the cream tins at $1.49 each it came out to $2.98 plus tax that is all i had to pay and that is all you'll have to pay $2.98 plus tax but guess what the five dollars printed out just like it was supposed to so your girl is actually five dollars richer i only paid 2.98 for something i need anyway y'all look at my hands your girl needs some lotion i put on so much hand sanitizer all day that like after after you sanitize hands are ashy again you have to put on more 
more hand sanitizer after leaving the next door, more lotion. So these cream tins are gonna come in handy. But anyway, that's it for this quick video. Y'all make sure, oh, I did promise you that I was gonna show you like more electronics. So let's do that before we go. Plus I like talking to y'all, so why should we go? Over here, some gift bags are included in the sale. And then you can see they've already started marking down electronics. There's like way too much to show for me to like just go super, super slow. But if you need any of this stuff in a hurry, like I know sometimes you can get it cheaper on Amazon and stuff like that, but what if you needed it like in a hurry? You know what I'm saying? If you needed it like really, really quickly and you didn't have time to like wait on Amazon, which is also pretty quick, it's like a day. But if you needed it like right now, guys, you could come to your local CVS and see what they have. So this is just some of the stuff that I'm finding, but I just wanna encourage you to look all around your CVS because there are 75% off tags all over the store. I am not kidding. And some stuff, like it might not be marked, but I've seen it in one store and I'm like, hey, I saw this for 75% off in another store. So I just take it up to the little scanner. They have such an easy scanner for you to use. So I just take it up to the scanner and what do you know? In the next store, it is also on sale. So you just, I don't know, if you see something that seems like, okay, I saw this at another store on sale. Let me check the next store. You get to the next store, they don't have tags up, scan it anyway. I mean, you don't lose anything but like a few minutes of like walking back and forth to the scanner and you never know. So I saw a lot of tags in this store. Some stuff is gone. Some stuff I've been late to the party on, but um, oh, if you know anybody that's a diabetic, this section over here has tons of stuff like for diabetics and even just like in, in the health section, I can see some of it is gone, but 75% off. That's a huge deal because, you know, stuff is expensive. A lot of stuff can get really expensive when it comes to like medical stuff. It gets really, really expensive. So if you can get any deal on it, over 50% off, it's a steal. And then like right here, check the poise in your store because this stuff right here, whatever it was, was 75% off. I might hit another store just to see what I can find. But over here, some Depends were also 75% off. That stuff can also get pretty expensive. Guys, you guys know when you have elders in your family, older people in your family, you know that these items can get expensive hearing them talk about it or you might be the person that actually goes out and has to you know, help with that or get it for them. So make sure you check for these things because if you can save on it, that's a win. I hate doing this. I hate doing this so much. I hate doing this. So like basically I'm just gonna fill the um, bottle up with water because I'm not good at pool testing. I feel like if I test on my own, like what might happen is I might put too much like chlorine products or all the different products and stuff. I don't know. I just like to fill it up with water and then just go get what they tell me to get and put it in the pool. And it's free to get it tested. So, well, it's free at Pinch a Penny. I don't know if it's free everywhere else. It's so hot. If it wasn't for the heat, I would not be out here doing this. This is full. This looks full. Uh, what did I do at the top? What did I do at the top? I have to put a top on this. Y'all, yeah. oh. I done lost the top. I don't know where the top is. Y'all, I done lost the top to the bottle. It's not in a bowl. I don't see it in here. Where did it? Y'all, I done lost the top. I lost the top to the water. I can't take it to the store without the top. I don't see it in here. Where in the world is it? Maybe I left it inside. I think this is it over here. Here it is. I was about to freak out. Cause I've been putting this off for so long and I was like, if I don't do it right now, it's not gonna get done. All right, so we got a top. Got a top on that. I need to go actually get dressed so I look like a human and then we can go to Pinch a Penny to do this um, pool water testing thing. And I might stop and get my toes done because y'all I'm hiding my toes because they look terrible. Um, before I go, I was like, I might as well make me some infused water. I've been having a lot of infused water lately. I don't know what it is. Like, it's so hot outside. 
um it's so hot outside to the point where i just haven't wanted like juice or anything else like i've been wanting water so i got this tumbler on clearance i don't know where i got it from on clearance let me look at the bottom real quick hold on let me just rinse this out i got this tumbler on clearance let's see some of y'all probably got the same way y'all know we always shop at the same places this looks like Walgreens. Walgreens 90% off clearance. So I got this for 90% off at Walgreens. Y'all, I've been waiting on a time like when I was going to really, really want to use it. It's so hot. Like my tumblers that I got on Walgreens, like I got one of these. This is a mug. But um, all my tumblers that I had got at 90% off, like on those different 90% off sales, Target, from when they used to have those real bomb 90% off clearances. Hold on. Um, a few years ago, Target um walgreens um i mean it was a lot of places that used to have those real good clearances y'all know what i'm talking about we're gonna do cucumber and lemon yeah but yeah a lot of places a lot of places used to have those um really really good um clearances on like summertime stuff i don't know about target anymore because like lately what i've been seeing with target is um i just do i'll do two cucumbers Lately, what you know what? I just wanna. I'm gonna go ahead and wash all of them. I might as well just pull out the veggie wash and wash them all right now, because when I put, oh this is a new bowl, y'all. I didn't even realize this was a new bowl. I just pulled it down. I know I hadn't used it, but I, I didn't realize it was brand new. I need to wash this bowl out. You can rinse this bowl too. Okay. Anyway, let me get a let me grab a carving board and I'll be right back. Y'all, I'm just grabbing this carving board real quick. Because what I'm about to do, since I've been like chopping up lemons, at first I didn't think this was something I was going to keep doing. But after like it's been so hot, it just feels like this is something that I should just keep doing. So I'm going to just rinse this bowl real quick. Definitely need to rinse out this sink right quick. But um, yeah, it's been so hot lately that I haven't really wanted anything but water. And then if I want some flavor to it or just some type of like nourishment, it's been feeling really good to have infused water. But stores haven't been doing that same type of clearance like they used to. Y'all remember, used to always be some type of clearance. 90% off clearances used to be so bomb. You get carts and carts full. I know I used to go get a lot of clearance. Me and my girl, Tanya. I don't even know what happened to Tanya talking about my girl. We used to always meet up in Walgreens and Target. <laughs> We, we became like shopping besties because um, she walked up to me one day in Sears and was like, oh my gosh, one cute couponer. And I was like, hey girl, what's your name? And uh, we started talking, her husband was there, her two daughters, we started talking and everything like that. And before you know it, we was always meeting up in the same stores. Like even in that Sears, I had put her onto a glitch that was actually going on, on at that time. Um, that she didn't know about at the time and it was like free clothes at Sears if y'all even remember Sears it was like you can get free clothes um, use the same coupon over and over and um, those were the good old days and me and her were just in there killing it just getting clothes after clothes after clothes I had to leave y'all because I had to go to church it was like a Bible study night and I was like dang I gotta go to church Tanya you're not going to church so <laughs> she was like ah I'm staying here so so me and her actually got to know each other from that. And um, after that, we used to shop together all the time. But, you know, that was just clearance sales we used to do. I'm about to use this, y'all. I don't know if y'all use, like, veggie wash, but I'm about to use this. Um, there is this lady. I can't remember who it is, but um, she, me and her used to follow each other on Instagram. And she used to always watch her, watch her vegetables. And it used to make me want to wash mine because once upon a time, I used to just rinse them things and go. But after she would be like... Always, you know, washing them with a veggie wash. It says spray generously, y'all. That's why I'm using so much. Um, but after I always seen her use a veggie wash, I started using the veggie wash, and y'all would not believe some of the stuff that comes off your vegetables. I mean, I'm not giving up fruits and vegetables, but listen, I will always wash them from now on. If y'all want to, check this out. Um, this vegetable wash, the one that I'm using, I do like it. Um, I know they have other ones on the market. They might have some that are better. And I got this little veggie brush too, cause you know how Amazon does when you buy one thing, they ask you, do you want to buy the next one too? So I just got um, the veggie wash and it was like, do you want to buy the um, scrubber? And I was like, yeah, scrub my vegetables, don't mind if I do. So anyway, yeah, back to the story. Me and Tanya, we used to always um, meet up 
at the different stores and shop. But since these clearances got bad, I haven't seen Tanya since. Y'all, Tanya, if you're watching, girl, say hey. Girl, I don't even know what happened to you. How are your daughters? Your oldest probably done graduated by now. Y'all, I don't know. The funny thing is, like, I'll be washing vegetables and I'll be getting tired of, like, scrubbing them. And then if you see something like a bug on your food and you just be like, thank you, Jesus, hallelujah. I'm so glad I was washing these vegetables. Because if it wasn't for the Lord, let me scrub off that little net. Mm, 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 mm. You know what I'm saying? Because it's been a lot of times where I didn't scrub my veggies. And um, I just thought, or fruit, mostly fruit. But I don't know if y'all saw that TikTok video. And if you're squeamish, just fast forward. I don't know if y'all saw that TikTok video. That's what actually really, really got me interested in scrubbing my fruits and vegetables. Um, oh, that video. I'm, I kind of don't even want to say it because it will trigger you. That thing triggered me so bad. Like, I still to this day barely eat strawberries. Like, that's how bad that video was. Don't go looking for it if you squeamish. Don't even try to go looking for it. It'll ruin your life. Honestly, it ruined mine. Like, I had a good relationship with strawberries before I watched that TikTok video. Like, I legit had the best relationship with strawberries. Mm. Can't even eat them anymore without thinking about that video. Basically, I'm going to tell you what happened. So, like I said, if you're squeamish, fast forward. Do not listen to what I'm saying. Basically, I think I done scrubbed these already. But basically, um, y'all, this girl, who this girl, she was soaking her strawberries. And she was, like, telling everybody, reminding everybody to soak the strawberries. So, she was soaking her strawberries, y'all. And, Lord Jesus... Um, what started coming? Worms started coming out. Ah, it was so nasty. Worms started coming out of her strawberries, y'all. Worms, bugs, everything. She was like, you know, just explaining that, you know, with strawberries, you need to soak them. You absolutely need to soak them. And, um, that's something I've always rinsed my strawberries. But did I do a hard soak? No. Um, and that's something like, you know, older people in my family have always already been telling us to do, but... Who listens, you know? Um, <laughs> it's one of those things I just was not listening. Like all the elders in my family, you know, they always say, you know, like, you need to soak your strawberries, soak, um, soak your fruits, and wash your vegetables real good. Okay, I'm like, you know, I rinsed my strawberries, that's good. You know, I grew up in the city, but my family is from the country. So as a kid, I spent my summers out in the country, you know, going in the mud um, pool. I, I know y'all don't know about the mud. Like the little mud pit. It's like made out of mud and made it's not like nobody took the time to make it. It's where it rains so much that it turns to a big mud pool and we just get on like the tire swing or a rope swing and just swing in there. Like I remember it raining and we got some cardboard and built a boat um out of cardboard to float across a ditch full of water. Like I grew up in the country, like visiting the country in the summertime with my uh, grandma's family. So we did all kinds of stuff like that. And I know good and well, my parents had no clue when they dropped us off in the country, the stuff we did. Running down dirt roads, dogs chasing us, us chasing dogs, jumping fences, playing in the dirt in the mud, going into people's house, going to meet the honey dripper lady to buy honey drippers, all of that. Um, just growing up in the country. So, you know, they did say, you know, soak your strawberries, this and the other, but I just rinsed them things because I was like, listen, we used to climb up on the date tree and just get dates off the tree and eat them without washing or rinsing them. We used to pick up the walnuts and the pecans off the ground and eat those when they fell out the tree in the country. So I'm like, what's the big deal? But after watching that TikTok video, y'all have been washing and scrubbing like nobody's business. And that's something I want to keep doing because fruits and veggies, if you don't scrub them, it can get gross out here in these streets, out here in these fruits and vegetable streets, these produce aisles. Anyway, I have everything already rinsed and ready to go. And I'm thinking I'm just going to go ahead and chop it and put it in like some bags or I might even put it in some containers. Yeah, to keep it fresh. And that way, when I'm ready to do my infused water, all I got to do is pull the chopped stuff out of the container or the bag or however I'm going to do it. And I just... Boop, just put it in that tumbler. Let's get started.
already started putting some of the pieces in my tumbler. I got some lemon in there, some cucumber. I already put it in there. Now I'm just gonna add water. But y'all, I do wanna tell y'all why I cut my lemons like this. I know this might be strange to some of y'all, but if you like lemons, if you love lemons and limes, then you'll understand. Like, I have a citrus addiction. Like, I love citrus so much. And like with lemons and limes, I should have cut some limes. I really should have put some lime in here. But with lemons and limes, y'all, when I'm done, like drinking the water and stuff like that, I like to suck the lemons. Like, I will suck on the lemon, um, what's left in the juice of the lemon, like at the bottom of my cup, I'll take the lid off and I'll suck on it. Like, when they're those little circles, you can't really do that the same. It's an inconvenience. Same with the cucumbers. Like, when I'm done with the water, like, I will eat the cucumbers. Y'all, I'll just sit there and eat them right out of here. So, that's my fruits and veggies for the day. And I like to fill it up. And that's another reason why I fill it so high, because I'm going to eat the fruit and the vegetables when I'm done with the water so I usually fill the water up like over and over so it's not like just one you know one bottle of water that I put in here and then I'm done no I fill it up throughout the day especially like if I'm somewhere like an office or something they have one of those water dispensers and I'll just keep filling it up and then when I'm done I'll just eat the fruit out of it so yeah I just went ahead and filled that up I'm gonna pour some water in but yeah that's why I don't cut my lemons into you know like a more circular shape I do sometimes, like if I'm having gas and I'm putting them like in a big, um, like a pitcher, then I'll do that. But when it's just me and my tumbler, yes, this is what I do because I really, really like to just eat it afterwards. But yeah. Ooh. Ooh. I should have added some lime. I really should have added lime, but that's looking good. So I came to Pinch a Penny. I've never been to this location before, so I really hope they don't say it's ghetto that I just put my water in a jug but I'm going up in here to take it I mean that's what I had that's what I had y'all if you've never been to pinch a penny like soon as you walk up in here it smells like you are like in pool wonderland like all the pool chemicals that you love to smell in the summertime like it just smells like oh it smells like summer it smells like my childhood memories of summer anyway here's where they do the free water test so here we go let's make sure this isn't ghetto hi mm -hmm. Um, I need a water test. Oh, yeah, I can do that for you. I brought my water in this jug. Is that okay? That's fine, yeah. Okay. Yeah. Thank you. Yeah. Uh, can I get a phone number? Sure. So, y'all, I really don't know what's going on right now, but it's a water test, so I know nothing about water testing, so I'm just going to let him do whatever he's doing over there. I'm going to go somewhere and mind my business. If, do y'all want to look at pool chemicals? Because that's exciting, right? Let's just go look at some, oh, here's a gator. Are you intrigued? Three cups of acid and a gallon of chlorine is what I was looking for. So what that acid will do is um, it'll help make sure that that chlorine you add is effective because it lowers your pH, which is your base acidity. Um, that basically you want that to be in the middle so it doesn't irritate your skin or anything like that. It makes, it makes sure that it's in the middle so your chlorine doesn't lose its effectiveness if it gets too high. Um, so he's saying I only need maybe two things. And um, yeah, so I'm just gonna get them while I'm here. I know a lot of people like to go and get it elsewhere on Amazon or get it on their own. I'm like, I'm in the store. They did a free water test. I'm gonna get it from here. I saw from your little video, um, you would use three cups of this guy first, which is the acid. And then this is a one gallon chlorine jug. Just dump the whole thing in there afterward and that should be enough to um, uh, sanitize your pool and everything okay so three cups of this and dump this entire dump thing, entire whole thing in there. okay that seems easy i feel like i can do that yeah and so like based on your test like how bad was the pool oh it's not bad at all really it wasn't <laughs> yeah you just added uh fresh city water into that pool so usually that the things that they ask for that's usually what it asks for right because they literally just drained it because it was like overflowing because all of the rain. Yeah. So we just got it drained. And so there's probably a lot of fresh yeah. water in there. Then okay. That, that stuff right there makes sense for a pool that's starting out. So. Okay. Thank you so much. Y'all, so remember how I hired Deja to come and help me clean the patio? <laughs> She's supposed to be cleaning the patio furniture. The patio furniture is sitting in the sun. It looks like she did clean it. I will say that, but look what she's doing. I thought if I didn't let her bring a swimsuit that she would just work. This girl is in the pool with her full outfit on. <laughs> she, she is in the pool with her full I outfit on. Walmart. Girl, you are in here with a full outfit on. Look at you. <laughs> oh my goodness, Deja. You know, I ain't even gonna be mad. You know why I'm not gonna be mad? 
because you clean the patio furniture Yay! that's why but next time at least bring a swimsuit i thought telling you not to bring one you wouldn't get in the pool but i see that you do what you want to do look at this kid your patio. but you did a good job huh thanks for taking your patio can i get rewarded with a mermaid tail a mermaid tail it's really fun I feel like I have a mermaid tail. I guess that's reasonable. That's cheaper than what I just paid you. I'll buy the mermaid tail <laughs> and you can clean. You can clean for free and I'll buy the mermaid tail. It actually looks good. If I wasn't tired, I would get in there with you. I'm tired. Oh my gosh. Well, have fun. Have fun. Don't drown. I'm not, I'm not about to get in and save you. <laughs> no. I'm not about to get in and save you. Do not drown. Deja wanted me to record her swimming to see if she got any better. I'm not doing it. I mean, you're not where you were. Oh, let me try again. So that you was, did something. That was a bad try. I don't know if that's the type of swimming that you were trying to do. No, but well, that, was a bad, that was a bad try. You did something. That was a bad try. You gotta redo it. <laughs> Three, two, one. <laughs> Why did you look like you were trying to fight the water? What was that? What did that water do to you? You out here trying to like windmill the water? If that was a fight, I feel like you won. Oh my gosh, what was that? You did better when you were gliding with your swimming. Okay, I did like gliding swimming. Yeah, the little not arm the situation you had going on, that was not that was working out. Like Michael Phelps. That was not Michael Phelps. <laughs> No, okay. I don't know which Michael that was, but it wasn't Phelps. <laughs> you did it better with the gliding. Bad start. Bad start. Are you pushing off the wall? That, I'll go in the middle. Okay. I did that time. But this time I'll go in the middle. I mean, obviously you can swim. It's deep down there and you're not drowning. Yay. <laughs> Three, two, one. leg situation you had going on the leg situation was like the arm situation i don't approve i do not approve she did a good job cleaning the patio furniture the table the chairs she washed them down like i was like kind of skeptical on how i wanted to continue cleaning the chairs because i felt like they were fading a little bit i don't know what y'all think but i felt like they were fading a little bit because they were pretty expensive and we got them to last a while and they have lasted a while but i felt like they were fading so i want to try and have them restored because they were not cheap like the table too like let me show y'all something up here on the table this is the brand if i can find a link for it i will but it's been really hard for me to find like a link but i'll try and find a dupe or like a replica but the table like you can see right here from where i had like a plant sitting on the table you can see that um like it's got like sunburn or the shadow like the rest of the table is faded but this since the plant was like blocking right here you can see the color that everything was but the table itself is faded so i want to kind of get it restored because it wasn't a cheap set it was like pretty expensive and that was so it could last um this is the brand right here yeah same it's got the same little tag on it but yeah so the whole thing the table let me show you all this let me step back i'm not about to fall into this pool um but the table um but the table the chairs and then these um seats as well y'all like all of these Deja has been like washing them down because they were getting like really dingy we're trying to figure out how we can get them back to the original color because this was the original color but after sitting out in the sun like you know for a little while like the color is fading but these were in more in the shade than the table and you can kind of see how the table and these chairs that were actually in the sun have faded a lot more so if y'all have any suggestions for something that can restore this wood let me know because i'm looking for something like that but I was going to see what the brand recommends or what the company recommends because I don't really want to mess it up and I'm not a DIY type person. But anyway, we're just washing things down because after a summer full of um, like, you know, patio time, everything was getting kind of like dusty and just it's just everything felt like outside. So we just decided to just kind of wash things down. Well, that's what was supposed to be happening. But as y'all can see, I'm the only one at this point still working. She retired. You can also see on this table over here, you can see the same thing happened. 
Um, y'all please excuse this rug. I'm going to replace this rug because after a summer of entertaining, you can see how the rug is kind of dingy as well. Like this is a um, Magnolia Home Rug by Joanna Gaines. Um, and I believe it's the... Deja, what collection did this rug come from? Magnolia Home, but what was the collection? The Warwick oh. Collection. Yeah, this was the Warwick Collection by Magnolia Home. Um, it's a nice rug. Well, it was. Um, and so we had this in this little seating area. And you can see the same thing is happening. That was the original color of the table because I had a plant sitting there. We took everything down because we're supposed to be cleaning everything. But I had a plant sitting right there as well. And you can see how the color has just changed. The entire table has faded. So that's just another thing that we're trying to work on, trying to get it back. But yeah, I try, I'm going to show y'all a picture of what it used to look like before everything faded. Now everything's just fading and I want it restored. Can y'all, can y'all see that? What is that? We're cleaning the porch and it looks like something, this was not here. It's way up at the top because this is like way up at the top of the screen, y'all. But I can't even get up close enough to show y'all. I wish I could. I have no idea what that is. I mean, it looks like a, a cobweb, right? But what is it, like, what did they put up there? Like, what in the world was that? Was something crawling up there and they webbed it? Is it, was something already, like, I don't know what that is. What would have been up there? Or what would they have brought up there? Was something, I, girl, y'all, I have no clue what just, what this is. I don't know. I thought it was like moss, so I came over here, but I don't want to touch that. What is that? I hope one of y'all know what this is. If you do, please let me know. I'm about to try and get it down. Well, Deja says she's going to get it down. So if she volunteer, I'm going to let her get it down. This is what happens when you ask teenagers to do something. She got the end of a Swiffer and attached it to like the long duster pole to reach up there. Y'all look, I don't know what that is. Bring it down, Deja. Let's see. I mean, I really feel like it was nothing to be honest. Like sit it on the ground. Let's look. Ugh. Okay. What is that? It's probably nothing. We out here tripping. What is it? Like some grass or something? It's, gra it's grass in a cobweb, I think. Oh. <laughs> Y'all, we tripping. It looked scary when it was up high, but like now that it's down here, it looks like it's grass in a cobweb. <laughs> Y'all, look. There's literally a lizard in here. Oh my gosh. This is Florida life. This is like. I mean, this is the first time I've seen one in here, but like, honestly, it's not really anything new. Lizards just kind of like pop up everywhere. Like in Florida, you walk at your front door, five lizards scatter. But I know Floridians can feel me. I don't know where else this happens, but I know it happens here. But that is so funny. Deja was like, okay, let me start dusting this. And like, I'm so glad you didn't stick your hand up in there. What do I do? And he's chilling too. I don't know. I guess I would leave him. I can pick it up. I don't want to like hurt him. He ain't doing nothing. You gonna pick him up? Move that glass away from the edge before you try and pick that thing up and knock it all the way down. Deja, if you jerk your hand back and scream, you gonna drop the glass. Okay, yes, ma'am. You gonna pick that lizard up? I, I will, cause you let me get in your pool. Hey, buddy. Hey, cutie pie. <laughs> See, that's what I, I knew you were gonna do. I knew you were gonna do that. I can do it. I can do it. I can do it.